Happy Sunday, everyone! <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Monida Stuff. We are at episode number, and let me check for a second, 24! I think I will lose track again at some point. But welcome um, to the last episode of our monthly theme that's called Mobile Madness. And let's be honest, it has been a mad month, hasn't it? All the tech bugs, all the issues. Ha! But it was a fun one. I even sang for you, so yay! Anyway, <laughs> I hope you have a fabulous... Um, Hi Tom. I hope you have a fabulous Sunday. I think tomorrow is bank holiday for you US people out there. So have a great Memorial Day. <laughs> and um, thanks for tuning in if you're watching the replay and if you're here live. So what did you get across, come across here now? I am Moni, I'm the really geeky person in charge at MoniRoxYourSocks.com and I am the um, host of this live series that you're watching right now. Meow. <laughs> um, I'm a web graphic and tech geek and I offer web, web, web and graphic design obviously and virtual assistant services and today I am live with you again with the fourth part fourth part <laughs> of um, mobile madness and today we're going up a level we're leveling up because that's what we gamers do uh, and I will show you a few things about Instagram that can level up your Instagram game um, besides just posting pictures, which is nice too, but there are a few ways that you can make your Instagram a bit more appealing to people, especially when it comes to stories, because that's what people are watching. People do watch stories and you're totally in your face or in their faces when you're doing that. So. Yeah, I know I'm getting old, Tom. I'm already old. Even though the public doesn't think so. <laughs> because the public thinks I'm not even 18 because I don't get a membership card from a, a, a company that sells oil and herbs and stuff. So they asked me about my age when I signed up for the membership. But well, <laughs> so anyway, let's just hop right into... Um, Instagram, obviously, and welcome to my hello, hello. I know you're moving, but you look different than what my screen is supposed to look like. Did it move? Yes, now it moves. Awesome, it's working! Yay! So, first of all, what are Instagram stories? So, let's open up Instagram real, real quick. Is there an issue? Is everything working? I get notifications from the tool that I'm using, but it looks as if it's working, so all is fine. So, Instagram stories are the awesome circles that you see there at the top. And when people uh, post their stories, there are like 15 seconds videos that you um, just tap at and then you can watch them scroll by. That's by the way my awesome tattoo artist who is now in Cambodia. <laughs> anyway. So you can watch all the Instagram stories at the top um, and they skip, uh, they hop from one to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next. So um, if you post some, or if you want to post some yourself, um, you need to tap at this camera icon at the top left of your screen. So, well, when I look at that, it's like this, but you know, I'm mirrored, so yeah. Um, and it was just black because I have this weird screen thing here. And as you can see now, we're totally inceptionized. Um, or you can flip your screen when doing this, which is obviously a bit weird right now. A bit too close. So let me just talk in this camera then. <laughs> um, as you can see at the bottom, there are a few things that you can actually choose. So you can choose, whoop, my mobile phone is very um, touch sensitive. So you can um, choose the type feature where you can just type things in, of course. If you, I don't know if you noticed, if you've ever noticed, but there is this camera icon on the right hand side. 
And if you tap that one, you see that this is actually a bit transparent. So you can take pictures and add type over it and have this fonty overlay thing or this gradient overlay. And also you can turn the camera and do that gradient overlay thing with whatever it is you want to take a picture of, not only a selfie, which is pretty cool. And you can turn it off again too, obviously. So then live. I haven't done that e before. I could have, um, but you can also go live on Instagram, which is pretty nice. I don't see a lot of people doing it. I'm not sure if I would actually watch a lot of them, but I know that there are a lot of people who are doing that. Maybe if you have a huge Instagram following, that's something that you're interested in. But yeah, then there is the normal view. So it depends on how long you actually push the button push the button, push, push the button. That's how long the video goes. And if you remove push your... Push the button, oh. push, push the button. I just have to. <laughs> um, that's how long the video takes, but like records, but not longer than 15 seconds because stories are only 15 seconds long. So at the top, you see that there is this audio icon. Um, if you don't want to post the audio with your video, then you can tap that one, which I did now because you would hear me talk on repeat on repeat on repeat and we don't want that obviously we don't want that um so i don't even have to hold it up because i already took the video um then on the top right hand side of that there is all the awesome stuff now coming so depending on if you've turned your location on because that's something that you would need to do um you have of course obviously the location tab where you can either locate where you exactly your am that's practically where I'm living or you can also type in stuff so we can go in there again and you can say I am in Mexico right now for example and I could add it manually too but yeah um, what you don't have if you've turned on the notifications is the temperature um, so the temperature it only knows when you turn on the notification and if you tap on it, you have a few different kinds of things happening. Oh, I'm sad that this is only Fahrenheit with the, with the, with the umbrella. Because, I mean, it's actually true. But I'm a Celsius girl. Celsius all the way. So, yeah. That's how you can add what type of temperature you have at the moment. And, <clears throat> of course, um, you can add... Uh, the time that you have now you can add a picture in your picture you can make it bigger and take a picture of that okay <laughs> well I'm not sure if that's something you want to have if you want to make it bigger or smaller or if you have to want if you want it to look a bit different you can just tap on it and if you want to get rid of something, you keep your finger on it and drag it down to the bin. Can you see that? Drag it down to the bin. I will do the same with the um, uh, cloud. <laughs> then there are a few other things. For example, you can add hashtags, but you can also just type in hashtags when you're writing copy on there or text on there. You can create a poll. It's like always a yes and no question. Um, or whatever, I, I mean, it's always a two-way thing. It's, you can type in whatever you want to have, but you can't have a poll with more than one answers. That's what I wanted to say. Um, and that's pretty new now, which is pretty cool, this slider thingy. Um, so you can change um, the emoji on there and ask a question and people can slide up to whatever, uh, however much they think they want to slide with you. Is that a word? It's not even a word, right? Um, hey, Carly. Caroline, thanks for tuning in. Um, so the next thing that you could do is add a GIF. And don't we all love our GIFs? GIFs, GIFs, I still don't know. Um, that's pretty... Ew, an avocado. Okay. <laughs> you can either choose whatever they show us, what is trending. I totally understand that the avocado is trending because it's awesome, I'm putting that there. But you can also just type in for or search for whatever you want to have. So maybe dancing, 
because Tom talked about dancing. <laughs> no, I'm not in Mexico, Tom, unfortunately not. And um, then it will load all the things and you can just scroll through. <laughs> I like the panda. <laughs> Sorry, you can just scroll through and whatever you like you can post and you can drag it around um, by keeping your finger on there. I'm not in Mexico, I'm removing that now to not um, distract people from the actual thing. I love the avocado, that's awesome. So whatever you added uh, last is in the highest, on top of the other thing. So I can uh, put the dancing panda on top of the avocado. avocado avocado yeah, potato potato tomato tomato um so if you want you have to keep that in mind if you want to create specific things like uh, yeah i did the other day with the ocean and the thought cloud and the angry man with the bathing stuff in there so yeah um and a few other things is there something else there are just a few random um, images like Sunday, Sunday, fun day, they always adjust to whatever type of day it is, like Sunday, Saturday, Wednesday, there's a camel, I have no idea, or a dromedary, dromedary, ein dromedar, to say it in German, <laughs> anyway, um, you can scroll through here, there are a few different things that you can do here, so, uh, like a few images that you can add, um, to your liking depending and also the emojis and you can swipe left or right because there are hats that probably does not make a lot of sense um if there is no face in it we can do that later with my face in it um and if you want to add it to your story oh there is the pen that means you can draw so there are different types of pens there is this thin one then there is this broader one and the broader one is like a bit of uh, ca calligraphy kind of thing. Then there is the one, that, I like that one, that has a glow around it. And this is a razor, so you can erase whatever it is that you have there. Um, on the left hand side you can slide up and down so the razor or the, the pen size will get bigger or, whoops, or smaller so that's on the left hand side and there is something that looks like chalk hey come up you button come up hello whatever it's not working right now but you saw that it did just before so it's on the right hand side <laughs> okay and then I had for my mic that's true um, and then when you're done with it you can also add text new copy Ooh, no I know I don't want to talk with you and at the top you can change the font types so there is this modern there is typewriter strong um, classic uh, with a classic thing you can always add a background and when you type on it again then it's like this kind of transparent background and you can change the color how you want it to be that's kind of um, same with the modern modern only has the text itself um, copy you can change the type of flow you want to have there typewriter there are also a few different ways that you can uh, play around with the fonts in Instagram stories so once you've done that you can either save your clip so what I do sometimes is when I create a video and I don't have time to add all the fancy schmancy stuff, I just record it because I want to have the appropriate size. And with the pictures it's a bit different because I have a different proportion there. So I take the pictures with Instagram and then I save it with, on the left hand side. Also you can save it if you want to use it for other um, tools, for example, for Snapchat. What I sometimes did because Snapchat, ha Snapchat has this awesome 3D dancing emojis, which I really enjoy. Um, that's when I save the Snapchat stories on my phone and then post it on Instagram because I want to have the 3D dancing thing and I'm not on Snapchat. So that's just something you could um, think of <laughs> as for cross-posting on social media. 
Um, or you can just simply um, tip, tap on uh, plus your story and then it will be posted to your story or you can send it to people. And I'm just going to send it to Mr. Tom the Knight who is as awesome as because he's uh, joining me live today. <laughs> um, and when you're done, you're done. And then you can see that I actually sent him this video and he can watch it and treasure it. <laughs> or not. <laughs> okay. So um, going back to the Instagram stories and because I said we're talking about boomerang today. I'm going to turn it around. We're talking about boomerang today. And um, boomerang doesn't normally come with Instagram. Usually not. Uh, usually not. Um, so it means you have to download it. And for that, we have to go to the Play Store. And you can just search boomerang. And I mean, I searched it before. That's why bo that's why boomerang comes up here. So it's boomerang for Instagram, and it's an uh, original app from Instagram itself. So you download it, you install it, and then you will find the boomerang right there at your um, Instagram story, which is cool because then you can totally just tap on it with a finger. Um. And it will be, <laughs> a bot is writing me a message. <laughs> and you see that it will um, like play it forward and then play it back as a boomerang does. So you throw the boomerang and if you're really good at throwing a boomerang, it comes back to you. So what we're doing now is I'm going to add um, Mooney does stuff uh, with a hashtag. And then we're posting that because why the hell not? Um, in action right now. I can't type and talk at the same time. It's a bit weird. Hi, Michi. Don't laugh. I'm totally serious. Um, on... My Facebook page. Check out the link in bio. In my bio. I kind of like that transparent things. And then I added to the story. And that's how it went. So this, there you can create like fun video snippets. Um, where you can like have fun effects with the forward and back, the forward and back. <laughs> so um, that's on Instagram Boomerang. So on Boomerang, that's something, that's what you would need the app for. And Layout is not for stories, but it's also a separate app. And I'm just typing it in now. Layout for Instagram. And it's how you can create collages on your Instagram uh, feed. Uh, which means sometimes it's nice to have one picture, like one or two pictures or three or more pictures in one tile. Um, so well, once you install the Instagram layout, you can actually do that. And I'm going to show you how. So once you open the thing, you just choose the pictures you want to have we are going to choose the doggy because he's a poor doggy he's not talking to me again i like he's super annoyed with me i had to clean his ears today and he's like we're no friends we're no friends today he's just lying around he left me for the in-laws he's downstairs he's not even looking at me but we will be fine so anyway, as you can see at the top, there are a few different... So once you've chosen your images, there are a few different layouts that you can pick from. So you can have the square one where all of them are in, at the same, have the same size. Or you can have this kind of blinds thing, which does not really entirely make sense with that kind of picture. But you get the gist. So you can have one that's big, can have one that's bigger, and uh, three that are smaller and on the bottom. And if you you can scroll through it, 
and you can check out whatever fits best. So let's choose. And there are also like uh, masonry kind of type of images. Um, so whatever you prefer, I'm going to use that one now. You can then adjust the size of the image by going, um, uh, clicking on that blue border. Um, also, you can do that for every picture. You can uh, zoom in and zoom out with uh, this kind of move. I just, I should look up the German one, uh, the English word, because I do the training all the time with you, with my senior citizens. And I call it what with the, the thing that you plug your eyebrows with. But I don't know the English word right now, but you get me, right? So you can make the image bigger or smaller. It's a bit tricky on these small things here because if you have fat fingers like I do, there's not a lot of room to zoom. Uh, room to zoom, isn't that good? <laughs> room to zoom, sorry. Okay, um, you can, however, drag it around, even though the zooming is a bit fiddly, very fiddly. Um, you can mirror the images, flip them, flip them, mirror, um, and you can add borders. But um, you cannot really adjust how thick the border is. You can just make one, which can be nice sometimes when you need the optics. So let's do put the pub here, put the what's left of the pub and just make that one. So whatever you want to change, you just tap on it and you see that it gets this blue border. I seriously cannot do. Eh, no, too thick of th too thick of a finger. Okay, um. So once you've done that, you can save, and you can either save it, uh, like post it on Instagram, add it to a story, or add it to the feed, which is nice. Or you can post it to Facebook. Then um, this one will open. Or you can um, go to regular sharing and do whatever kind of sharing you want to do. So for example, um, if you're planning your Insta feed with Planoly, then you can just simply click on Planoly and upload it like that. That's pretty cool too, isn't it? So you can plan your feed, even though it does not work right now. Let me try. It should though. Hello. Whatever. It should actually. Maybe it's just slow. Also, my mobile phone is highly uh, problematic recently because the other day my keyboard just didn't appear again. I couldn't type. I had to switch keyboards. That was tricky. So yes, that's practically how you um, can pimp your insta feed with this awesome layout also and that's kind of it yeah i know i'm sad too that it's over already so if you want to um know more about all the things online tools come back again next week um because we have a new and awesome topic coming up it will be very interesting for Europeans. That's all I can say. Because I am keeping your information private. And so I keep mine private too. Um, so thanks for tuning in again today. I hope you have a great rest of your Sunday. Um, mobile madness is finally over. This one wasn't even that bad. No, no hiccups, no breakups. I'm recording. Everything is fine. Isn't the world a great place? It only took me four weeks to figure it out. <laughs> so join in, join me again next week. I hope um, you enjoyed the show. I need. Uh, I feel I need to think of a song that I maybe I shouldn't sing that song, right? <laughs> no, I won't. Okay. 
so if you want to join my newsletter that's now pretty gdpr compliant um you can go on my face my um website moneyrocksyoursocks.com and eventually there will or will not come a pop-up because it doesn't work for me but it works for others but i will figure it out and then you can join my um email list again to get notified about this awesome live stream that's happening every sunday <laughs> so thanks for tuning in today and i hope you have a great rest of your sunday and see you next week guys and girls bye thanks for joining today